game pays on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap. I'm a fly real high. You ain't see me stack. I'm a start how you fall. So you get right back. Go. This is Classroom of the Elite episode seven. And let's dive straight into it because I kind of missed it. Nothing is is as dangerous as an ignorant friend. A wise enemy is to be preferred. Well, I'm telling you, I'm loving these quotes, man. Like, they're very specific. And they're kind of pertinent to the episode sometimes. Well, most of the time. Well, she got her thing set to a schedule. You know, that's not a bad thing, you know, that, but you know, when you do that, you kind of miss out on things. You know, kind of just let life flow freely, but there's nothing wrong with a schedule either. Are you know, Koji? Wait, did you? <laughs> she hung up, he called right back. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I love their relationship. I'm being 100%. They, they are friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, whether she wants to believe it or not, they, they're friends. But we also know that there's a lot of other stuff going on behind the scenes and a lot of other people they have to deal with when it comes to uh, the eliteness. So... Oh, man. Chainsaw Man just dropped. Crap. Okay, let me finish this, and then we'll go check out Chainsaw Man. I'm excited for that, by the way. Okay, now, what's this? What are they trying to do? Operation Peep on the girl. <laughs> I thought they were finna mess with somebody. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got a peep on the girl's dressing room. That's, that's, that's what that is. Oh, so are they already together? <laughs> I don't need to see you people. <laughs> so you think she done it just to get a little popular? Because there's something wrong with him. There's something wrong with everybody in Class D. (laughs) (laughs) 
but you're meeting with some friends. Oh, this chick. Well, I tell you, every time it annoys me because we know who she really is. Right, even Harika, Harikita, Harikita can pick up on that. I don't get that either. Were they the ones that were trying to peep on the girls' dressing room? Oh, it was. It was them. No. <laughs> uh... <laughs> we, we messed up <laughs> oh my god these fools are stupid oh my gosh they're so stupid <laughs> we, we messed up we messed up <laughs> It just keep getting bigger and bigger. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, does she like Ayuna Koji? So all y'all feeling are you know Koji? But I be with him. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't fooling with Koshida because I know, I know exactly who she is. Uh, that's all the spy stuff. Oh, he's the commander. Young lust. <laughs> <laughs> They're so stupid. Oh my gosh. Oh, they got a lazy river. A wave pool. Oh, so they, they doing it big. Hey, this school is legit. <laughs> These fools so stupid. Are y'all giving yourself away? Okay, so this episode is kind of like a break. Like in the middle of everything, right? Yeah, y'all are doing the most. Well, they, they really, they really deaf for the fan service, ain't they? Wait, was that him? It was. No. <laughs> you fool, you're going to get yourself away. Oh, 
Oh, they're so stupid. They went about this the wrong way. Oh my gosh, you're so stupid. They're so stupid. <laughs> They're gonna give themselves away. <laughs> I am, but I'm not at the same time because I know what he's doing. <laughs> oh, you're so stupid. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't going in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, they act like it's so serious. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> hey, this episode is great. It's, it's different from what we've been dealing with, but... They're so stupid. Wow. You fool. Let it go. At this point, it's more trouble than what it's worth. They got cold. They got they they got flag signals. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm back. Well, maybe if y'all were actually legit about it, y'all trying to peep. <laughs> if they have to go to the to the restroom it is not cool Well, they all beefing over the. <laughs> wow, everybody up here.
Oh, when he saved you from your brother? That's true. Oh, he's stuck in the women's bathroom. Well, the girls' bathroom. Like, there's no uniform? You don't have a uniform? Put on a uniform and act like you were cleaning the bathroom. They act like this is so inspirational. Oh my god. <laughs> they need to quit. They need to quit. Oh, he's crying. No, oh, come on, man. Oh my gosh. Are you the coaches in on it? He's in on it, no! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, he, he was he was wondering who she was anyway. You posed the question to her. Oh, she's calling everybody out. Nice. Nice. Oh, well, there's that declaration. Son, I can't believe Ayana Koji was a part of it. But he told her about the cameras. And she took out the memory cards. Wow. That's true. Their class would have been in trouble if that came out. Wow.
Right. They can have the cameras, but there's there's nothing recorded to the cameras. I think Nicole J is a genius, man. Nice. This episode was nice. Ha. She's going to pull him in. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, all the fun that that we were having is ruined because of her but she is making friends so that's a great thing a nice episode like it was a break from what we're normally having to deal with with all the other classes and everybody trying to sabotage class 1d but well class d in general not 1d but class d nice Oh, see, you had you had a nice time. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little friend here and there. Okay, man, that was Classroom of the Elite, episode seven, and it wasn't a bad episode. It was. I felt like it was more of a relaxation episode. We still had some stuff going on behind the scenes, which had all these folks <laughs> trying to peep on the girls' locker room. <clears throat> I didn't even know that Ayana Koji was a part of it, but him being a part of it also helped their class because if Class D was exposed about, you know, having pictures and videos of the girls' locker room or whatnot, that would have put all of them in the chance of being expelled or kicked out. You never really quite know. So him telling Harika about it and her taking the memory cards really saved their class a lot of trouble, and she got to kind of befriend everybody a little bit in that moment with them at the pool. It was a nice moment, and they made a declaration to all the other classes that, oh, we coming for you. So it was nice. I felt like it was a nice reprieve from dealing with all the stuff that we dealt with in the past couple, six episodes. Like, those were kind of hectic, but this was a nice relaxation episode. Everybody kind of got to enjoy themselves a little bit. There was an operation afoot, but it didn't bear any fruit, if you will. So I really enjoyed this. I want to check out episode eight anyway. Both of them are being done today. This is pretty incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button. You can't smash any more. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them. And subscribe. And remember that anime matters. Anime is greatness. And anime is life. Peace out.